Hello, and welcome back. My name is Emily Mitchell, and I'll be your host and teacher. Today, you will learn about filling out job applications and about employee responsibilities. Watch and listen carefully. Oh no, my alarm clock didn't go off and I slept too long. I'm gonna be late for work. I wish I could tell my parents that I didn't want to work at the restaurant, that I want to do other things. Maybe I'll call in later and say that I was sick. No, I said I would work, so I have to work. Hello, who's this? This is Tom, the cook. Min, is that you? Yes, hi, I'm sorry, Tom, but I'm in a hurry. Will you please tell my mother that I'll be late for work? Sure, I'll, I'll tell her. Thanks. You see, my alarm clock... <laughs> Never mind. I'll be there as soon as possible. Bye. Bye-bye. Why are you breathing so hard, Min? I ran all the way. Why? I was late. I thought Mother would be angry. Is she here? She went out to run an errand. She'll be back soon. But she wasn't angry with you. It was an accident. And you called. You did the right thing. I'm glad. It is very important to be a responsible person. And it was very responsible of you to call. Your parents were right. You'll do a great job managing this restaurant when they retire. Hello again. Let's talk about what we just saw and heard. Did Min wake up late? Yes, Min woke up late. Who did Min speak to on the phone? Min spoke to Tom, the cook. What did Min tell Tom? She told Tom that she would be late for work. Does Min want to work at the restaurant? No, she doesn't. That was excellent. And now I'm hungry. So while I order something to eat, you will join Ivan and Amir at the office where Amir works. Listen for these vocabulary words. Office. Application. Watch and listen carefully, and I'll see you later. Ivan, hi. Come on in. Amir, I'm glad I found you. How are you? I am fine. This is a nice office. Yes, it is. Ivan, you seem a little nervous. I am. I have never applied for a job in this country before. What about your job as a manager of the apartment building? I did not have to apply. The man who owns the building gave me the job. He is my cousin. Oh, that is why he thinks he can take advantage of you, because you're family. I'll take you down to Mr. Doe's office. <clears throat> he is the building manager. He's sick today, so you can meet with his assistant, Mr. Michael Gray, who is the assistant building manager. You can fill out an application there. What kind of questions do you think they will ask me? Mm, he will probably want to know about your education, different jobs you have worked at. Okay. Where is his office? His office is downstairs. This is just the office of the lawyers that I work for. We'll go there now. Okay, Amir. It was nice of Amir to tell Ivan about the job. 
Let's review what you just saw and heard. Why did Ivan come to Amir's office? Ivan came to Amir's office because he wanted to apply for a job. Who will Ivan speak to? Ivan will speak to Mr. Gray, the assistant building manager. Where is Mr. Gray's office? His office is downstairs. Has Ivan ever applied for a job in this country before? No, he hasn't. How did Ivan get his job as the apartment building manager? He got his job because his cousin gave it to him. Good work. Let's review some of our vocabulary. Listen and repeat the words you hear and see. Office. Office. Application. Application. Good. Now you will join Marta for her first day at work. Let's see how she's doing. I hope things are going well. Hey, Marta. How are you? I'm fine, Roberto. I'm very excited to start the job. I'm excited to have you working here. If you're as good as your father, my customers, and I will be very happy. I hope so. Well, let's get started. Okay. This car just needs an oil change and a tune-up. No problem. If you have any questions or need to know where something is, ask one of the men. They'll be glad to help you. Okay, thanks, Roberto. You want me to help you with that? No, thanks. Are you sure? I don't want you to hurt yourself. I did this many times in Mexico. It's not dangerous. Oh, look. She got her pretty little hands dirty. Thanks. My hands were dirty many times when I worked on cars in Mexico. It was a part of the job there. And it is a part of the job here. Well, if the job is too hard for you, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to do it for you while you go out and get us some breakfast. I would not want my wife to work as an automobile mechanic. Women should do women's work and men should do men's. Let's review what you just saw and heard. Who is Marta working for? Marta is working for Roberto. Is today Marta's first day at the job? Yes, today is Marta's first day at the job. Is Marta excited or unhappy about starting to work? Marta is excited about starting to work. Were the other mechanics wanting to help Marta? Or were they making mean jokes? They were making mean jokes. Good work. Now we will visit with Amir and Ivan. Listen carefully for these words. Address. Job experience. References. Come in. Hello, Mr. Gray. Hi, I'm here. Uh, this is my friend Ivan. Nice to meet you, Ivan. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Gray. What can I do for you? Ivan has come to apply for the maintenance man position. Wonderful. We can really use somebody in that job. Here's the application. Just need you to fill it out for me and bring it back as soon as possible. Then I'll be able to interview you. And during the interview, 
I'm just going to ask you a few questions about yourself, and then we'll talk about the job. It's really very simple, but first you have to bring back the complete application. I will fill this out very quickly. I, I am very interested in this job. Good. Then I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Come on upstairs, and I'll help you fill out the application. Okay. As Amir and Ivan work on the application, let's review what we have seen. Is Mr. Gray the assistant building manager? Yes, he is. Is Mr. Gray looking for a building maintenance person? Yes, he is. Does Ivan need to fill out an application? Yes, he does. Does Ivan fill out the application in Mr. Gray's office? No, he doesn't. Very good work. Let's see if Ivan fills out the application properly. Okay, Ivan. First, print your name at the top, but print your last name first. Print? It means to write. Oh, good. I already wrote my name. Great. And now my address. Yes. Notice that there are different spaces for the different parts of your address. Uh, there's one place for the number of your house and the street, another for the city, state, and zip code. Make sure to write the correct information on the correct lines. Mm -hmm. And here I print my telephone number. That's right. Very good. Make sure you put all ten numbers, the phone number and the area code. Here it says education. Write down all the names of the schools you have gone to and if you have studied one thing more than another. It says to write my job experience. Good. Write down the names of the places that you worked and your job responsibilities. I have done that. Good. Did you write down the name of the person who was your boss? Yes, but what does this mean? References. References are people who your future boss can call to learn things about you. Learn things. What do you mean? Well, sometimes they need to make sure that the things that you wrote down on your application are true and whether or not you're a good and responsible person. You have nothing to worry about, Ivan. Whose name should I write? Well, you can write down my name and phone number. Really? Of course. You're a good friend, and I know you will do a good job. Thank you. Ah, uh, Mir. You are a very good friend to me, too. Let's review what we just saw. Does Amir help Ivan with the application? Yes, he does. Does Ivan have to write his address and telephone number on the application? Yes, he does. Does Ivan have to write the different names of the schools he studied at on the application? Yes, he does. Who does Ivan list as a reference? Ivan lists Amir as a reference. Does Amir think Ivan will do a good job as the building maintenance person? Yes, he does. Great work. Now let's go see how Min is doing at the restaurant. Bye, Tom. Min, where are you going? I have to go to school. I didn't know you had school tonight. You know, one of your responsibilities as an employee is to tell your boss when you can and cannot work. If you had told your mother that you couldn't work, she could have found someone else to work for you tonight. In the future, please tell me or your mother or your father when you have to go to school. 
I'm sorry. I thought I didn't have to worry because I knew Mother and Father would be working tonight. They had to leave for a little while. Besides, your job is more important than school. Tom, you always said that school was very important. School is very important to those people who don't know what job they want to do. You know what job you'll be doing, and you know how to do it. Don't be sad, Min. Your parents are very happy that you'll be managing the restaurant after they retire. What if I don't always manage the restaurant? What if I want to do something else? Why would you need to do something different? This is a very successful restaurant. You'll always have a job here. I'll be right back. What if I want to do something different? Let's talk about what happened with Min and Tom. Where was Min going? Min was going to school. Were Min's parents at the restaurant? No, they had to leave for a little while. What does Tom think is more important for Min? School or her job at the restaurant? Tom thinks Min's job at the restaurant is more important. That was very good. Let's make sure that we understand all of the vocabulary you have heard. Listen and repeat the words you hear and see. Address. Address is the number of your house, street name, and city and state where you live. Address. Education. Education is where you went to school and what you studied. Education. Job experience. Job experience is what kind of jobs you have had. Job experience. References. References are people who know you and will tell an employer that you will do a good job. References. That was excellent. Now you will review some of the lessons we have learned today. Watch and listen to our friends. After they speak, you will repeat what they say. If you need more time, stop the tape. I'm going to be late. I have to call my boss. I'm sorry, boss, but I'm going to be late. My alarm clock broke and I slept too long. I'll be there as soon as I can. An employee has to tell the boss what days she cannot work. I can't work on Tuesday and Thursday nights. I go to school. I could not work yesterday. I was sick. I would like to apply for the job. You need to fill out a job application. Where can I get an application? You need to write your address 
job experiences, references, and education on the job application. You did a great job. Now you will practice repeating other important things our friends say. Stop the tape if you need more time. Why were you late for work today? I woke up late. Why can't you work tonight? I have to go to school. Why didn't you work yesterday? I was sick yesterday. Can you work on Saturday? Yes, I can work on Saturday. Can I help you? I want to apply for the job. What do I need to apply for the job? You need to fill out an application. That was excellent. Now you will have a chance to answer some questions. You will see and hear a person on the screen ask you a question. Try to answer the question. Watch as Min does it. What time did you wake up this morning? I woke up at 8 o'clock. Now you try it. What time did you wake up? What time did you get to work? What do I need to apply for a job? That was great. Today you learned and practiced many things. You learned that if you will be late to work, or if you cannot work because you are sick or have school, you need to tell your boss. Also, you learned how to fill out a job application. Next time, you will see Sue having problems at work, Min helping Gustavo when he doesn't feel well, and Jose talking to Ivan about Marta. Now I want you to think about some important questions. After I finish, you will stop the tape and write your answers on your worksheet or a piece of paper. If you need to, you can watch the tape again. Does Min want to work at the restaurant? Why does Min go to work if she does not want to? What would you do if you were Min? Take your time writing these answers. Think carefully, and I'll see you next time.